We are live. So you can raid me now. Just hit, um, you type in backslash raid and then at 100 underscore a million. And yeah, that's about it. I'll have my just chatting on and some music. All right, guys. So we should be popping over to 100 stream in about eight seconds. <laughs> so we will see you soon over there. That's so funny. Sorry for all the difficulties. Yeah, no, that, that's too bad. That's too bad. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right, am I good to end my stream now since we raided? Raiding with a party of 51. Yeah, you should, once you're raided, you're, you're good. Welcome back, class. <laughs> back to back to back. We're trying to get our raid numbers up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hang on. I am. Let me get off of this. Okay, M A R K, dude, hitting three twenties. What's going on, uh, Chatter? Can you still hear me? I can. I can hear you perfectly well. Am I coming out over there? Yes, sir. You guys can hear Chatter. Post a one in chat if you can hear Chatter. Nothing changed, so it should be fine. One, one, one. We're good. We can hear you loud and clear, sir. Great. Do we want? Do you want to chart out DWAC then? Yes, absolutely. See what we've got coming out there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do, do you want me to chart it for today or just in general or? Well, let's let's just look at it. We'll, we'll go. For Dreamer's it. choice. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Um, DWAC. So my. We actually, we took a long entry um, yesterday on it at $13. Uh, I have the clip saved, but basically what I was looking at is, it's so hard to look at now because it went so nuts. But I was looking at this uh, demand zone here um, off the three minute. Thank you guys for the follows. Appreciate that. Um, I was looking at this demand zone between uh, 1264 and 1278 for an entry. We came and we popped out of that. And then I said, all right, I think we can chase this here at around $13. And honestly, I was looking for this move, 13 to $15. Um, I believe you guys alerted this as well, if I remember correctly. We alerted this one at $12.76 with our go. momentum alert and before that on our discussion alert. Yeah, that one popped off for sure. And what's really interesting about that is that is right in this demand area, <laughs> which is pretty dope. So, bro, you can even learn demand without uh without learning demand just by off a of chatter he's calling it in the right the correct places which is super super well, cool that's definitely the beauty of about sentiment right is that we end up having a whole bunch of people right we're, we're following a whole lot of smart people on twitter there's a whole lot of smart retail traders out there and especially when you break it down in our custom search you're kind of able to see that you have a lot of people who are charting talking about that all at the same time right so you let other people do your due diligence for you yes exactly and that's the whole idea like and this is what i what i preach about with chatter Quan all the time is it's not just like you know people are talking about it no it's not it like discussion volume is huge because like uh, you gotta think right why are these people tweeting the stocks it's the why it's not the what like I, I can tweet about whatever I want, but I'm not gonna put out something to my followers that I think isn't gonna be good. You know what I mean? Or or the opposite, I'm, let's say uh, uh, I'm a pump and dumper. I'm not gonna put anything out to my followers that I can't make money on, and that would be negative sentiment, right? We capture both those things, and uh, and it's put right into ChatterQuant. Um, like the, uh, all I'm trying to say is that there's how many traders on Twitter with their own custom setups? You know what I mean? And all of these guys have, you know, their own ideas processing. And if everybody is saying that DWAC is positive sentiment, you got to think that's like a million setups that are all reading the exact same thing. So what are the odds that it's going to go the other way? And that is the beauty of Chatterquant and why I took this long here at $13. Did I know it was going to go to triple digits today? I had no freaking clue. Um, we scaled out around... 15s or i did because i was i was on the road actually when this thing was uh ripping and i i was going to work but it ended up it kept going and i told you guys on the three minute chart uh you can ride the 20 ema that's one of my favorite indicators is this 20 ema uh, i'm gonna turn off follower only mode by the way for all the new followers coming in turn off follower only mode. there we go so now everyone new to the room here uh who just followed you can now talk in the chat i will answer any questions that you guys have um 
But yeah, so I said live on the stream, you guys can follow this 20 EMA. And that was off of ChatterQuant Alert and just, you know, some, some really simple charting there. And so even if you stopped out here, because it did kind of dip underneath, I probably wouldn't have at this point. I would have said, okay, if this comes down and breaks VWAP, I would have charted, but I wasn't live at that time. I was working. Um, but essentially, even if you stopped out here, you rode that from $13 to $18, which in the market previous to w DWAC, that's a crazy move, dude. $3, uh, you know, in like an hour. That's pretty crazy. And then what did it do? It kept kind of sitting here, which is super bullish for me. Um, an another bullish thing that I like to talk about as well with the VWAP and the EM uh, 20 EMA right here. See where they cross? The 20 EMA crosses on top of the VWAP. I was talking about that today with Elegant Trader. That is super, it's, I mean, I hate saying that, you know, that's a buy signal. It's not, but it's confluence to add to the trade. So what do we see? We saw ChatterQuant uh, alerts, uh, put out an alert for bullish on DWAC. That's one. Uh, it dipped into this demand and popped out. That's two. The third one, the 20 EMA crossed over top of the VWAP. That's three. That is a ton of uh, bullish confluence on this trade. And it came up and it kind of rode this test a little bit, but it's not breaking down below. It didn't quite, you know, it didn't knife, didn't do anything crazy. You'd be comfortable in there. And what did it do? It started blasting off. So in theory, in theory, if I was live for the rest of the day, I wouldn't have told you guys to stop out until probably this candle right here at $44. I would have said, okay, uh, let's cut because that's insane. It's an absolutely insane move, but all day on top of this three, uh, three minute, 20 EMA, absolutely crazy. Like $13 to 44 bucks. How often do you get those trades? I don't even know what percentage that is. Um, but that's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's around three, three something, 300% right there. Yeah. Just with, yeah, quick, easy in a few hours. And that's not the only one that we had today. To answer your question, Gamblex, uh, you see these alerts through either chatterquant.com uh, slash alerts, or hopefully we'll be able to set this up in a night bot for 100 to a million. So you can watch it straight from your, from his stream. Yes. Another thing I wanted to add for you guys is that if anybody here is, is wondering, how do I use these tools? I'm, or, you know, whether you're a newer trader or an intermediate trader, definitely give 100 to a million a follow. He uses Chatterquant tools very well. He breaks it down and uh, it's definitely an awesome follow if you're learning and have some time to watch some streams. Thank you. But the next one that we have today is fun. And I think if you use PHUN, you can either scroll down or, or share my screen and we can kind of break that open. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me show your screen on here. If you want to share it, I'll pop you up. Perfect. I'm going to refresh my dashboard here. I'm not seeing the stream on my end. Uh, here we go. Bam. Okay. You're, you're up. Awesome. All right. So what we have going on with, I probably should have pulled up fun before we did all that. All, all right. right. So what we have going on with, probably... there's a bit of an echo chatter. Do you have, um, right. the stream muted? There's a bit of an echo chatter. Do you have uh, the probably muted? not. Uh, no, I did not. Perfect. Okay, there sweet. we go. Is it, that should be better. So there were a whole bunch of SPACs and DSPACs that popped off, BENE -E being one and PHUN being another one. We alerted at P for PHUN at $7 on our um, for the momentum alert, which was quite a bit later than our unusual discussion alert. And that was one that ran on both reddit and twitter right we see that that moved up 372 spaces in terms of sentiment and discussion volume right and that's always what we're looking for when we're, we're looking for sentiment runners i often avoid ones once they hit kind of the top five or to, you know even the top 10. what we really want to look for when we're using these kind of tools is for these these um these stocks that are, that are at the bottom 15 or bottom 20, and you don't even have to worry about any of this when we look at our unusual discussion volume alerts, because those will you will get those early or as early as they do pop up on social media. But if we click on that, we'll be able to break that down a little bit. We had a 520 or 471% run. This one actually ended up peaking today, I believe at $24, but we can have, um, 
100 to a million break that down more on the chart right after this but i also think this was a sympathy play to dwac right you it's and you'll see that a lot if you guys ever feel like hey i may have missed a play or you know oh shoot i should have gotten into amc the thing you should always look at is GameStop and BlackBerry and some of those other sympathy plays that are in within the, the same meme stocks. Or you say, you know, what other stocks are in the same sector as this? And you see this with these cryptocurrency plays as well, right? Mara, Riot, stuff like that. They like to run together based on, on the price of cryptocurrencies. But as we can see here, the discussion volume for the month is up 55,000%. That's absolutely Damn. nuts. Um, and then we have the latest Reddit due diligence posts, a lot of posting just, just about people getting in. And this is not necessarily a bearish, I'm not telling anybody to buy into uh, fun right now. It's, it's run an absolutely ridiculous amount. But one of the things we absolutely want to keep an eye out for, especially on Twitter, is when you start seeing a lot of people talking about how they've made product profits or you know we called this at at this time and now that's this price that's typically when people start alerting that they're they're about to get out of these trades right because if you think this is going to continue running you're going to hold on to that until it runs a couple hundred more percent or or whatever your target is right it doesn't look like we're seeing that actually look at actually that's me i can't do that but <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you still see a lot of people that aren't talking about uh, taking profits here, which is which is interesting. Um, right. uh, that might mean that people are thinking this could continue to run, though we have seen a pretty big drop in discussion volume in the last couple of hours. I know at least last time I checked, mm -hmm. fun had moved down a couple of spaces, right? It's not even on the chart anymore here. There was a pretty big run up, and this is a one hour chart that we're looking looking at on Chattaquant right now. So yeah, it, that, to me, that's a sign that people are moving on to something different. When you still see DWAC here at the top, it does look like that the volume's down. Granted, it is after hours right now, but if we look at the 24 hours, right, we see 1300 um, mentions. We look at six hours, we have 600 mentions, right? And so if you multiply that by four, it's, that sounds about right. Um, and and to, to break down the thought process there, right, there's, four six hour time frames in a 24 hour period. If we look at the one hour chart, we're getting about 60 to 70 mentions and still down hourly. So yeah, if you wanna break uh, break down fun on yeah, the yeah. chart, let's do, do that. that. Uh, okay, let's pull up fun here. So <clears throat> this one was interesting. Uh, what time did you guys call it at? on fun the first one we had go off so we had our momentum alert go off a little bit later at seven dollars and 66 cents and our and that was in pre-market I, I believe it was one dollar 76 but let me double check on that for you for the discussion alert that one i think popped off yesterday even or or late yeah late, early yesterday that so yeah been... there was definitely some notice there people i'm sure were saying this is probably a sympathy and that's why the discussion popped off on that one right <laughs> that would be crazy getting it at a dollar. <clears throat> 24 times your position. Um, so what I was looking for here on fun, what's interesting is that, and this is why I say that the, the 20 EMA crossing <laughs> over top of the VWAP is not always um, like a buy signal because right here, if you look, the VWAP actually passes over the 20 EMA. Uh, that doesn't, that's pretty rare when you get a big, uh, you know, move to the upside like this, but that's why I see you're looking for confluence and not just, uh, you know, one signal. Uh, one thing that I want to point out here is that this supply zone, uh, right above, uh, pre-market levels here, this was tested a few times on fun after it started to get volume and after hours, uh, sorry, in the morning. Uh, right. So in the morning, it started to get some volume. It's starting to push up, push up. You're going to see it on scanners and it's struggling at this level. So where can you buy it? This is typically you want to play this as a breakout or uh, what a lot of traders do when SPACs are hot is they will buy um, into a breakout above pre-market levels. And so your pre-market high was right here. Uh, sorry, that charted wrong. Sometimes Weeble's a bit glitchy. Right there around seven, uh, $7.90. <laughs> so that would be the place to buy it on a breakout where it is pretty safe, um, which would be here. 
Okay, so you have your chatter alert. You have this demand area here and then actually broke out and came back into it and see how it dips in and that's when it gets the push. Uh, that's what we like to see and this sharp turn of the VWAP and I, I bring this up a lot, but VWAP as an indicator, uh, the way I like to play it is that the closer the price action is to the VWAP, the more it wants to push the price action away from it. But then the further that price action is from the VWAP, it wants to pull it back in. It's kind of like a magnet and it's going to repel and attract um, as price action moves closer or further away. And so in the morning for VWAP to take this sharp of a turn, you don't see this very often. Uh, that is extremely bullish. Uh, and so it actually pushed price action up and we were so quick to a halt here. Uh, if you did grab in pre-market, a good spot would have been after it tested um, the demand zone right here and got this push out, you could have bought into this little candle. Uh, another interesting uh, scalp you could have done on fun was right over here after the down halt. Uh, people are all over this, right? Like, when can we get back in? When can we get back in? There's a couple places you can get back in. You can wait for it to come down into the demand, which is what the smart bulls uh, typically do. Smart bulls will do that. Or you can actually use this pre-market high level for a quick scalp. And if you look here, it unhalted, came back down, touched pre-market highs, and then ripped up for a really, really fast scalp uh, in about nine minutes. That's how long you would in this play. Uh, you would have grabbed that off 790s and it actually ripped to $14 in nine minutes. So it, even if you sold in this red candle on this move, that's $9 to $12 um, in about nine minutes, nine to 10 minutes, which is absolutely insane. Um, so that is one area to scalp. And the next area would have been uh, into the demand area. If you're, if this was the play for you and you're watching it, I was not uh, watching fun too closely today. I was a little bit nervous by it. Uh, but absolutely, if you buy into this demand area, that is low risk, okay, because you're, you're smart bull now. This is an area where price action does not like to be, and that's the idea of uh, supply and demand. It is where the bulls and the bears do not agree on price, and they are going to push it one way or the other, or it's going to consolidate there before a next push. All right, and so that's what it does. It comes in. Uh, they disagree with the price, consolidates for a second, and it gets pushed back out. Um, so then another bullish uh, indicator here is when you finally break over that 20 EMA. And of course that happened at around 1230 and then it kind of started losing volume uh, and uh, upward momentum at around 1242. So even that scalp would have been nice, taking a bit longer, um, but it did look like it was finding some topping and really kind of rolling across uh, the VWAP and the 20 EMA, which is not a great sign um, showing that it can break to the downside. And it did. Uh, I will be watching this next week, though. I think uh, DWAC, with all the attention it got today, we could see uh, some excitement on it next week, especially now that it's, you know, it's the stock that went from one digit to two digit to three digits, back down to two digits, back to three digits. And so I think we're going to have a lot of excitement continuing on DWAC, uh, uh, P-H-U-N. And another one is S-A-L-M. Uh, that is another sympathy play for this. That's even cheaper. It's around six bucks. Uh, so I'll be watching those. Um, into next week for sure awesome thank you for that 100 and i finally did just find where we alerted it's fallen off of the alerts charts right now but we actually alerted about 28 hours ago at a dollar and 56 cents Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> so that was absolutely one and look see one of the things that we have to be careful for when we look at these is that um it, it's also that some sometimes these these have already run up a lot already. That doesn't necessarily mean they won't continue, right? I know that me personally, when I got it, I woke up late on DWAC yesterday. I did get in and was able to get out and I took about 10% on it. I didn't want to go too hard on it. Mm -hmm. But um, you, you absolutely see with, with these sympathies as DWAC continues to run to thousands of percentage points, um, or you, you're gonna continue to see that the sympathy plays move um if i look at what was the other one b-e-n-e -E, which i know you played today let's take a look at that one so we had our first dis discussion alert at about four hours and two minutes ago ten dollars and 97 cents what was your entry on that um uh, 100. Uh, i'm gonna look at the chart here uh 
So I believe it was right on this flag here around 1355. That was at like 142 is when we called that out on stream. Awesome. Good stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. and if we look at, at discussion volume, so one of the things you're going to see in our, our custom search tab here is that you see there's not there's not a lot of candles here. There's not a lot of histories uh, for, for these stocks. And what that means is either A, the stock is brand new or the SPAC is brand new, or B, it means that there were quite literally zero mentions. It's never been discussed on, on Reddit or it's never hit um, this, the what we're monitoring on Twitter. And so it, it, it really is hard for, harder for me to break these ones down. And I know if you look at the chart for BENE, it was a total roller coaster ride. And mm -hmm. um, 100 will go through that as a little more in a minute. Um, we do, it does seem like a lot of people are still pumping BENE -N -E on Reddit. There's not a lot of people talking about profits or the gain porns quite yet. So that this could absolutely continue. I don't know what your thoughts on that are 100 from the chart side, but it, it really, we have Gergovin talk, talking about shorts on that one, I believe. So that's not necessarily a very good sign. <laughs> he does pretty well as a trader and he likes to troll though, he, so we, I don't even know if he's he, serious. <laughs> I he, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe he pulls out the Photoshop for his you know short profit takes. <laughs> I, I I I truly don't know, but um, he, he backed it up with some pictures. He's he's right. absolutely wild for sure. Um, so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like we have any news that's even come out about the fact that B E N E moved today, and that's usually in in indicator of a a purely um sentiment runner it means that there's not um there, there's no news catalyst and and this is exactly the kind of situation where you also might see the ceo come out or the next news article that comes out about bene being um we have no idea why our stock ran today and might be a good good one for a short as well so back to you 100 if you want to chart that one out gotcha yeah for sure <clears throat> Uh, let's hop over to BENE. -E. Here it is. Okay, uh, we were watching this intraday. I think it popped up on my scanner, and then uh, we noticed it was on Chatterquant as well. And it was kind of doing this sort of falling wedge sort of flag. Uh, it probably looks a bit better on the one minute as well. Uh, it is actually getting some volume after hours too. It's pushing up to the 200 MA on the three minute, which is interesting. No, it looks better on the three minute. I'm gonna keep it on this. So what I like to see is these wicks here, and then also the, uh, the 20 EMA is coming up. It's curling up pretty aggressively, so I like to see that. The VWAP is curling up as well, so that, what does that do? Right, It's going to repel the price action and push that up a little further um, also. So uh, we bought into this, uh, this flag here, and uh, just as Chatterquant was, was alerting it as well, and I think... Actually, did we buy before this? We bought, it was right before the halt. We actually might've got this earlier. Do you remember chat? If we got this at 11s or 13s? I don't remember, but either way. Um, yeah, we ripped this up. And where I like to get out on a play like this when there's no news uh, and you know, you're not really too sure why it's up. I'm looking at wicks, right? I'm looking at upper wicks. And so you don't really see that in this move up until right here. And we have a huge wick from 1890s down to, uh, to 1740s so that to me is kind of a, a big sign it was before the halt so we actually got this i think we alerted it here in this green candle off the go to rewatch the stream but we actually might have been in 1120s right before this halt so halt it up and then it flags down into support and rips uh, this is a huge sign of weakness up here uh, a good spot to scale out especially this red candle um, or into this this bounce here uh, this whole area here is good for some scales. Um, so that is where we were taking profits on the stream. Um, but yeah, this one's a little bit difficult to analyze just because there's not much, uh, not too sure why, why it was running. Obviously just sentiment based, but a super easy play. Literally, I think he called it out over here. Uh, we got in at around 1172s, goes up, halts. Let me see the four hour on it really quick. Yeah, so the four hour just looks mental on it. So I think this is all new levels for this stock. It is. It is. So uh, this is one of those stocks that's going to run to uh, psychologicals as well. Uh, so if you look at $17, that hit pretty hard. 
um, and then right up here at around nineteen dollars uh, psychological it stopped out. When you're hitting all time highs like that, that's you, what you need is your Fibonacci and your uh, your psychological levels. They're going to come into into uh, into key play there. Um, other than that. It was a pretty decent play. Uh, B E N E W also ran with this. Okay, we were charting this one on stream. Uh, this is where we took it right on this little this bottom here, and I was like, "Chatter calls bottoms," because it literally got alerted. This B E uh, N E W, which is the warrant uh, version of the stock, this is where Chatter sent it out. And so we alerted that on stream, ripped that up 550 psychological, hit perfectly. Those five, uh, that number five is huge um, for tickers like this with all-time highs, etc. And yeah, you scale out into into weakness. This is a weakness candle here. That's a really large wick. That's kind of where we're out on that play. Um, yeah, basically a couple really quick scalps, uh, huge moves. Um, in and out on those ones That is about it. I don't have too much else for that. It's it's hard to chart awesome. stuff when it's uh, all-time highs But you're just looking for yeah. Weakness, oh, absolutely. Essentially. Absolutely. I Know you were also looking at prog today on stream mm -hmm. uh, We had a, I, I know that's one that was one of our biggest runners it ran something like 200 percent from our first discussion alert and it looks like it's popped up again and run pretty significantly today do you yeah. want to go over that one as well yeah yeah absolutely um let me pop it open prog and i believe uh that'll be on watch going into monday as well uh, prog m-a-r-k i think is running right now correct me if i'm wrong <clears throat> um We'll have to find that. Which one's running as well? Was it? I think Mark M A R K. Oh, that's been that. That was a pretty big one today. Yeah, too, for sure. There yeah. you go. Look at the after hours on. It's actually doing a falling wedge into support right now, um, off of the high a day, which is one of my favorite patterns. To be honest, that's always bullish. But let's look at Prog. All right. So, Prog. Where did we play Prog? I don't think we played it yesterday on stream. Uh, today we did play it though, and I believe Chatter alerted it on this red candle, if I'm not wrong, because I remember I only found Prog because of uh, I saw someone tweet about it, and then it popped up on Chatter, uh, and we grabbed it. Uh, sorry, it was alerted at two dollars and seventy-two cents, seventy-three cents, and then it kind of ran up and started to create this kind of all-day pennant that actually did get a pop, which I was surprised about. Usually these pennants. Uh, all day pennants, they don't get a pop like that. Usually they, they fade, so that's very interesting. Um, but it shows some strength in SPACs once these pennants start to work again. So basically, we would have uh, this was our, our call out on stream 273, and then, like I said, just uh, scaling out into weakness. You see these, these massive wicks coming up here, you have your psychological support at three dollars. Once it breaks that, um, I, that's where typically you'd want to stop out because you can get a better entry off the bottom of this pennant. Um, towards uh, you know th this VWAP area and where people bought it before. There's actually a small intraday demand zone here off these wicks right in here where it bounced here. So that's interesting to note as well. And once again, you have this crossover, right, of the, uh, the 20 EMA, which is kind of just adding confluence to this trade. And so that's going to push you up into this wick, uh, but it looked pretty weak there. So that would be our scale outs that we marked today. And then we played it again at the end of the day with Elegant Trader. He was watching it, and we were watching this kind of pennant here. And we uh, Elegant liked it. Uh, good volume today coming back into the play towards the end of the day, and that's what you need to get these pennants kind of running. So uh, I, th I don't know if he took a position here. I know I didn't, but we were watching it, and it actually did break out of the pennant and come back and test 320s. So that's interesting. And right now it's uh, coming back to $3. So... Uh, a couple ways you could have played this today. These are tricky. Uh, these all-day pennants. Not my best. Not my, not my favorite setup. But nonetheless, uh, even if you're, you know, you didn't know anything about trading, Chatter Quan alerted it right here in this white box. So, you know, that thing rips up. You're gonna want to take uh, always take profits into these rips. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's about it on uh, on P R O G. And this is on watch for Monday as well for me. Getting some good volume right now, actually. 
absolutely really appreciate that 100 i don't have too much more i should have prepared for this stream a little bit better i really do appreciate uh you coming on and, and helping out with this 100 i think this was very helpful for people yeah, uh if you guys are not following 100 on twitch you should absolutely follow him right now he during the trading day if you ever have some time hop in he's he's picking up good calls all the time he's using chatter quant really well to complement his current charting and it's it's definitely worth the follow um if you want to run a through a couple more you definitely can or maybe we could ask a couple people in the chat if they have anything that they'd like us to look at on sentiment and charts mm -hmm. i don't know how you're doing on time 100 no yeah i'm good i'm just uh kind of chilling out here i got another stream tonight we're kind of doing a friday night party stream um as for a watch list going into Monday, I'm going to be watching DWAC, obviously, P-H-U-N, uh, S-A-L-M, uh, Prog. I want to watch. Look at it's ripping right now, dude. That's crazy. Uh, so Prog's getting good volume right now. M-A-R-K is kind of squeezing a little bit. I want to see. Uh, it did squeeze here. I I'm going to watch this on Monday. I think Mark could get another run on it. Um, and then... Pro fast guy says Mark S O N M and A U P H. A U P H was getting some volume after hours here, so I like that. Uh, I think you alerted this chatter, uh, if I'm not wrong. Which one are we looking at? A U P H. Oh no, sorry, that that wasn't chatter. That was, uh, or you might have, but I got that. We from my do scanner. have one from an hour ago. I can okay. I can look and and do a query to see if we've alerted it. it recently as well because we gotcha. very well may have it's been a it's been a hot week for oh, sure yeah, everything's flying off here but uh my my scanner my custom scanner weeble scanner picked this up at the end of the day i think it was up five percent at the time uh it's up 13 percent in after hours now um i believe chatter did alert it as well which adds confluence to the trade uh i don't know if i had news or what to me, it doesn't really matter. What it did was this, right? So it popped up and it kind of did this uh, sort of pennant here and broke out. And those are the types of plays we want to see uh, when SPACs are coming back. Um, that, that's just a nice move there. And you have this 20 EMA kind of coming up and it's, look, it's just about to cross right now, actually. So this will be one I'm watching into Monday. I don't know if they had any news, I'm not sure. So I like that one. Uh, as far as other after hours runners, Prog is there. We're watching that into Monday. Uh, Bene could keep going on momentum. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, AGC was another one. This is 42% short. I'm still waiting for this to go. Uh, I think it's got a lot more in it, but it's getting a lot of um, excitement on Twitter. I'm not sure if Chatter has picked up anything yet. Um, it's kind of flying under the radar right now. I know a couple guys on Twitter are kind of pushing this one, but yeah, I'm excited. To Which see one are we looking list. at right now? Uh, AGC. Oh yeah, we've had that. We had that pop up a couple of times today, okay. actually, and a couple of them recently as well. Gotcha. M A R K dip. <laughs> Mark's gonna pay. So yeah, let me let me scroll up through the chat here, and if we don't have any other questions or ticker requests, we might leave it mm. at that. You guys should yeah, also yeah. definitely tune in to 100 stream tonight. He's streaming Little Nightmares. That's it's definitely a, a lot of fun. I watch it when I have some free time, so yeah, it's also sure. a good one to look at. Um, yeah, so that, that's just kind of some things I'm watching in the next week. Um, yeah, so you guys can put that on your watch list if you like. Uh, another one I'm kind of still watching is F cell. It kind of got rinsed though because of uh, I think D walk kind of took a lot of the volume f away from it. But uh, that's kind of the watch list that I have right now. Looks like we have one more request of INPX. INPX. Uh, is that a swing trade or a day trade on that one? Holy sh! <laughs> this thing's blowing up in after hours. What the hell is this? I don't think I've ever traded this. This is in Pixin. Okay. Let's look at the four hour chart on this. Very interesting. This get news? Pro fast guy? It looks like it's doing a gap fill here. Uh, it actually looks like it has more in it. There is I see the most recent article says is to bring augmented reality with an immersive experience app in Miami Beach. Oh. Seems like that's the news. I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've never played this one before. 
Is this a recent IPO? It's kind of recent. Wait, is it? No, it's not. What the hell? But anyway, here's your gap fill that it's doing right now. Uh, it still has room to the upside to about $1.06, $1.10. Uh, That's kind of the supply zone you're looking at. Um, I would say that this is demand going forward down here. This is an easy dip buy for people. Uh, yeah, you're just gap filling. So it kind of staircases way down and it's filling this space right now. So it's going to come up and test this area and we'll have to see if it consolidates there for another move up. That's kind of what I see, but that's, that's my level for supply. 106 to 110, uh, pro fast guy. I don't know if you have that on your chart or if you do, uh, great volume after hours here though. It's good news on that. And Chatterquant has news as well. So if, uh, listen guys, I'll end I'll like, I'll kind of wrap things up like this. Like Chatterquant has literally everything. Like it's, it's the cheapest, uh, and most efficient tool that I know of. Like it's got everything, a anything that you guys are looking for. It's, it's there. It's the, you know, I, I said this before, but it's the trader terminal, right? It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And, uh, you know, you, you really can't go wrong. Great place for this community to, uh, to get all the tools that you guys need for your trading style. Appreciate that 100. And if anybody does want to sign up and hasn't signed up yet, you can use chatterquant.com slash 100 and you'll save $15 every month on the platform. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'd like to thank 100 again. Thank you everybody who made requests in the chat and, and has tickers. You can always tune in to 100 stream, ask him questions. They're always super hospitable, kind of low, low stress streams, or you can DM us on Twitter. And, yeah, and those are some great ways to, to kind of learn and, and grow, grow your skills in trading. So yeah, for sure. Oh, yo, thank you for the sub. Dang. Okay. Thank you for the sub. I'm not sure how to say your name. I'll take a stab at it. Uh, Kiri Dwen? Kiri Dwen? That's what it looks like? I'm not sure. But thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, that means a lot. Thank you for the support. It goes a long way. Um, you played INPX last August 2020. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for having me on, Chatter, or me having you on now, or whatever the hell. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right. No, <laughs> um, yeah, go sign up for Chatter. Uh, it seems awesome. Absolutely, man. Use my code. You're going to get a discount there. Uh, he's got all kinds of great tools, dude, for real. Um, Chatter, if you want, we can post this to YouTube as well. Uh, it's up to you. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Definitely. I'll, I'll post it. If you could send that over or, you know, we could just post your link. Either one works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, if you guys aren't following me on YouTube, you hit me up there. I have my scanner video up there as well. If you guys want my free Weeble scanner. Um, it kind of alerts me to what's going on, like, you know, every millisecond. So if you guys are interested in that, there's the video, there's the YouTube. Thank you guys for joining us today. I truly appreciate it. Um, any, anything you want to end on chatter? Uh, no, I, th I think we've covered everything I wanted to cover today. And, uh, just again, appreciate everybody who tuned in and thanks for, for hosting this today. Of course. Of course. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you. Uh, later tonight, we're going to be streaming Little Nightmares, having a couple drinks. You guys can get me to chart some stuff, too, if you want. Um, up to you. I definitely want the scanner. Thanks. Yeah, not a problem, man. Hit up the scanner. And what's good about that video is I, I teach you how to use it as well, which is cool. Uh, more YouTube videos are coming out on my indicators. I still want to make a ChatterQuant video um, as well. And I got a few other ones on the list, but they're going to take a little bit of time. Uh, thank you, Chatter, for, for inviting me on and doing this session. This was great. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Later. Perfect. All right, guys. That was Chatter Quant. Uh, I hope that clears some things up with how to use the program, how to apply it to your charting. It's all about that confluence, right? You got to have everything checked, all the boxes. You can't just look at, you know, the 20 EMA crossed over the VWAP. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you got to have all the confluence. And so that includes chatter. That includes your indicators. Uh, if you're a flow trader, that includes flow. Um, you know, uh, use Bollinger Bands or whatever the hell you're using. Positive sentiment, um, everything. So I missed the market already. <laughs> you know, okay. Yes, sir. All right, guys.
me and Chad are loving to appreciate every single one of you guys. I stream every single day, and I'll see you guys later tonight. Have a great one. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be back. Don't you worry. And this is going on YouTube. Everyone say hello to YouTube. All right? 100 and Chatter out.